row number one. Your head flagman Scott Kreiner says, I like it. I love it. Let's do it. Green flag flies. We're underway. Last night, Damon Verde had to charge for the number 17 spot for the number one spot. Tonight, much easier task in store. If he can get the job done, he's got some fast cars just ahead. He's got some fast cars coming behind Andy Altenberg. Working top side of the racetrack. Verde solid in the number four spot. Works down low. Zevin Bergen will lead lap number one. He's got Kyle Van over behind him. Morgan Murdy side by side for Murdy. Damon Murdy right there so close you couldn't slide a credit card in between them but they did not touch on the entrance into turn number one and two as Murdy works the wheel down low the 99D car of the Chelsea Charger gets around Borgman props up the door two cars trying to force through contact chaos into the wall hello how are you doing Boston out on the speedway wow Murdy and Borgman side by side there coming through four Chet at this point in time. He's got her in the feature event, which is a task in and of itself. We had, what, 52 stock cars in the house here for the Spring Nationals. As the green flag comes out, we go one more time. Now they can turn number one and two. Sevenberg and we'll leave Van over down through there. Borgman swinging to the low side of Damon Murdy. He's looking for third as they head down the back straightaway. Borgman to the low side of Murdy heading into three. Borgman's got something for him. Damon Murdy working the top side of the racetrack. He's able to power out away. Now falls out of the clutch as the Borgman in the 76 car. Back behind, we're still too wide racing in the field. Thought that double zero car right there was, oh, look out. What was that maneuver? Had to check up and grab some binders right there. A hard move out to the right-hand side for the double zero car, and that allows Larson in the 5L down to the inside. Look at Jay Schmidt, that 19 J machine on the move up in the fifth now. Jay Schmidt sitting right behind Borgman looking to see if he can find a spot. Going around one of the Larsons, I believe the 6L right there, Jim Larson. Going around, that is the Rushmore, Minnesota machine. Getting him fired back up. We'll stay green on the speedway. Now lap traffic. Yo, Sevenberg is slowing on the pace. I don't see a caution out, Jeff. Oh, I think he was expecting a caution. Something. A little bit of ride. There's your caution flag coming out. I think maybe they called for a caution over the receivers. And you saw Sevenberg slow way down right there. The caution lights did come on around the racetrack, so Zevenberg... Right now, he'll bring him out of four. Vanover and Murdy behind him. To the line, they come. Vanover had the slight advantage. They crossed over the line. David Murdy to the outside. Here comes Borgman, the 76 car down there. Those four cars took it out. Jay Schmidt sees some daylight. He's taking a run on it. Dirty, able to hold him off. Damon, deep in it. Turn number three, Jay Schmidt slides on through. Jay Schmidt with a great move going under Murdy. Over Borgman. He sits third. Set on Vanover. Schmidt giving Borgman just enough room down the insides. We got a spinner down. Turn number one to two. Everybody trying to avoid. We're going to stay green flag, but up front, Jay Schmidt made a move, but now look how crowded it is. Damon Birdie's around. Look out. Little correction right there. Green flag should be able to stay out. Damon Birdie powers off of it. Nope. Oh! Slow power plant down in the corner. That's not good. Big flame each coming out from underneath that race car. Red flag is on the speedway as well. That field back to life. There's been big excitement here with the stock cars. There's no doubt. Elijah Zevenberg and brings another third four. Morgan and Schmidt side by side as they head down into turn number one. Out of turn two, Zevenberg will hold it. Schmidt and Morgan still side by side. Deeper in the field, everybody trying to make some strides up through the number 37 car. Jason Rogers working down low on the racetrack was able to pull just about two positions. And maybe not. Almost comes together right there, but Rogers found some traction for actions. We got them scattered down at turn number one and two. Look at the 5L machine. That is Dustin Larson, the Worthington, Minnesota 5L machine. Right now, battling for a top five spot. Start at 16th on the speedway. He's coming. He's going to repeat what Damon Murdy did last night. Murdy trying to get himself off the back rows. Picked off about three cars, maybe four cars right now. We got a slow one in turn number one and two. Up front, it's still Sevenberg and leading him around onto the front straightaway. This will put another lap by the wayside, making 11 to go. Well, Jay Smith holding off Lance 
Sportsman, Nathan Wood holding down in that fourth spot. Zentner trying to hold off Larson. Larson with a very strong car, that 5L machine. There goes the X. Chris Palsrock, the Sibley, Iowa X machine going into the pits. Here comes the 37 car again on a top charge for Rogers right there, working down the inside of the double zero eight car, Chris Adams. Adams out wide on the racetrack. Rogers will pick him up. Now go to work on your 5L car right there. He's quick. No doubt about it. As here comes Rogers in the 37 car, trying to get himself up to the front. Larson trying to look to the low side of Zentner as they come through. We've got two tangled up. They're going to continue to go. We've got one. Stop, high side, turn four, and, and now. Casey Woken right there, bringing out the caution flag for him. Sorry about that. No, that's all right. I recognize that race car, though. That's why I threw it out there. Boy, you can get hypnotized looking at those wheels. Yeah, he's got a right rear tire down on it, unfortunately. And behind him, out of four. Green is flying. We're back underway. Zeman Bergen's got some fast coming. Come back behind Jay Schmidt down the inside. It's got the tail feathers against the car to the outside. Borgman right there running third. Uh, well, second on the field right now. Watching Rogers go to the outside. He'll run it deep into turn number three. Here comes the 37 car. Borgman trying to slip to the high side of Jake Schmidt. Lance Borgman with a great run off turn number four that time. Larson digging down hard on the low side. Trying to get under Zipner. That battle will be for fourth. And we're going to go three wide, Chet. Oh, my. Rogers crossed over, went to the inside. Larson right there almost made it happen. Coming out turn number two. Couldn't quite pull it off the 49 car to the outside of Zentner. Zentner right now in that tussle with the 5 up car. A bit of a rolling roadblock for the 37. Down the back straight away. It is Zevin Bergen, followed by Borgman and Schmidt. Larson working his way up in the fourth. Caution is out. Caution flag coming out. Hey, we got a field of 1.2. He's right there mid-pack. Well, Zevin Bergen, he's... He's like, can we just go five laps? That's all I want. Five laps right here. Let's get it over with. There you go. Handful of laps is all it takes. It's going to be four the next time by for Zevenberg. And up front as he drives away from the battle into number two position. Borgman peeking down the inside of Jay Schmidt. will take him side by side and wheel to wheel. Rogers right behind Schmidt. And down the inside, here comes Larson. Damon Murdy looking at that gap in the middle. Lance Borgman, Jay Schmidt side by side. Borgman getting an advantage. Here goes Rogers. Trying to sneak in between Larson and Schmidt. Murdy sitting on that back bumper. Look at those five cars battling for second. Murdy dropped down to the inside of the racetrack right there and set the sights. Unfortunately, couldn't pull the trigger on his round. Goes the 6L car. Larson's teammate around back at the tail of the field. He's able to continue on. We're going to say green flag up front. So here we go. Three wide with Murdy, Schmidt, and Rogers in that battle taking place for the number four spot. All of them check up, get on the binders, except for Rogers. He flies around the outside, flips around Morrison, and now looking in on Borkman. Two laps to go. Can Rogers running down up front? He's got a little bit of time. Borkman lies just ahead of the 76 car. Rogers is quick through three and four, so he'll keep it on the outside. 37 car gassed up a slow one on the front. Straight away, we stay green. White flag is out. Here's Borkman with Rogers. Murray and then on the high side, coming out of turn number two. Rogers with a run on Borgman. Borgman slams the door. Zevenbergen has one, two turns, coming out of turn four. Lining it up, checkered flag. Rogers to the high side of Borgman, looking for second at the line. I believe Rogers got Borgman for second. Zevenbergen, your winner, and on the board, take a look, it was Jason Rogers bringing home second on Lance Borgman's third. What a run from the tail of the field for the 37 car, but up front it was the Elijah Zevenbergen show, the 66E car. Give him a round of applause. He heads down the front straight away and towards victory lane. Well, well, he's been here before. Elijah Zevenbergen, helmet coming off, the rest of the safety gear here in the Beatrice Speedway victory lane. Let's give it up for tonight's IMCA stock car feature winner. Well, Elijah, congratulations. I'm telling you, what a hard fought battle out there. Several cautions, and they were all stacked up behind you. Yeah, I'm just glad I got to avoid it. I mean, it was a lot of fast cars out there and a lot of tough competition. What did you think going into this? I know we've uh, visited here in Victory Lane before. Did you think you'd be able to stand here once again? I was hoping so. I mean, there's, like I said, there's a lot of hard cars to race against, and track conditions were great, so it ended up being great night.
What do you have to do? I know different uh, different animal than a lot of times you'll see in the summer months on a racetrack like this. What do you do with the stock car to get these things set up? Uh, tonight it got rubbered down, and I just loosened the car up a little bit so it could roll through the center, and it worked pretty well. Well, Elijah, congratulations. Continued success here in 2015. Thank you. How about our race fans once again for Elijah Zevenberg picking up tonight's Spring Nationals IMC Stock Car Feature win.